It's just, oh yeah. Come on, Vos. Come on, Vos. Right. Oh yeah. Everyone else is wrong. You're not a hypocrite. Come on, Vos. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh. Um, if you're watching this video, you probably know who Kavos is. Now, I'm not here to go easy on Kavos. If you want to see someone praise Kavos, watch the random shark or watch some other dick sucker because I really can't be bothered. I mean, he he started it. He started it! No, he started it! I didn't do anything, he started it! So, welcome to the first episode of... What am I gonna call this? The Crap Crusader. I want to make this a very, very um, funny series where I can make fun of other channels and where people can go down in the comments and say how unfunny, irrelevant, and shit my channel is. Ding! And I'm going to start off with um, him because he is um, a YouTube god right now and I'm going to try to suck his penis till it, it's in my mouth. That was disturbing. I want to talk about Kavos. Kavos is a YouTuber who's recently blown up. Why is he blown up? Because, um, he hates other people. Why does he hate other people? I don't know. I hate other people as well, so me and Kavos have something in common. But the thing that pisses me off about Kavos is that he's always so angry. As I said, if you want to be a YouTuber, you're going to have to have a good attitude. Otherwise, nobody's going to watch your fucking videos. You have to actually make decent videos. And if you don't make the decent videos, then nobody's going to watch your fucking shit. Kavos is always angry in his videos. I don't know why. Maybe his mother got killed when he was young. If his mother actually got killed when he was young, I'm in big trouble. But obviously something happened that made him be permanently an asshole. In every video, he's always screaming at the camera. I fucking hate that fit he created. This man who made a video completely misleads his viewers and he flat out lies about me in a desperate attempt to expose me. And I'm not fucking having it. People make videos of me all the time, but when someone this big with a relatively large audience tries lying about me, trying to ruin my reputation and thinks they can get away with it, I'm sorry prick. You've got another thing coming. Stop trying to twist the shit and twist it into me being a greedy guy and my motives are only for money. I would never go out and spread false information about someone just to make them look bad. That is fucked up and even you being an Alex fan would have to see that. Another thing is he takes things too seriously. He hunts other people down for making 10 minute videos when he does it himself but he has an excuse. And if somebody has an excuse, we can't say anything about it, can we? He says that he has relevant points and he doesn't repeat himself. And literally all he does is fucking repeat himself. So a couple of months ago, Kavos decides to make a video on... I'm Alex. I'm Alex, if you don't know, is another shit YouTuber, which is not worth mentioning, on my channel. My small, irrelevant channel. But basically, Kavos made a video on him, and it was all very dramatic. And recently, I'm Alex made a response to that video, but we'll get onto that later. Later, boy, I don't wanna ever hear you sing something else. In that original rant, Kavos decides to criticize Alex for being ugly. I'm Alex is one of the few YouTubers who genuinely disgust me to look at. Look at this creature. He is the definition of a Hmong. I could honestly see his face being next to the definition of Hmong in the dictionary. He says you're fucking ugly Hmong. And uh, this might make me sound a little gay, but I don't think Alex is that ugly. I don't really think Kavos has anything to say about ugliness, because... Obviously, this guy doesn't own a mirror. I'm not saying he's fucking ugly. I'm just saying men in general aren't very beautiful. I mean, look at me. 
That was a cue to start the XXX Tentacion song. I think calling him ugly is very hypocritical. Calling someone ugly in general isn't a very good roast. You would know that if you actually researched how to roast somebody. Pierce has grown extremely popular in the last couple of months, I guess. And um, the reason why many people like to say is because he sucked Keemstar's penis till it literally it was as long as a fucking balloon. No, I don't think that it was just due to Keemstar's shout out that Kavos is so popular. It definitely has something to do with it, but I don't think it was just because of that. Kavos did something different to other people. Which I applaud him for. He did something different. To do something different is always what gets you in the big run. Until iDubbbz does a content cop on you. If iDubbbz wants to do a content cop on me, go ahead. There's not much of a channel to kill here, really. But another point is that um, Kavos clickbaits and hates other people for doing it. He had a video called iDubbbz content cop on me. Three keywords in the first part, iDubs, content, cop, and then on me, it makes us wonder if- Oh my god, Eve's doing a video on Pierce, this is gonna be amazing! And then after it in brackets yet, the next Leafy is here. Another keyword, Leafy is here. And the basic point of it was that some people on Twitter said, Kavas, yuck, the next Leafy, that is how iDubbbz is making a content cop on him. Someone said he's gonna be the next Leafy. Oh no, that means because Leafy was attacked by iDubbbz that Kavos is gonna get attacked by iDubbbz. Oh, wow. Did this guy actually go to university? I mean, I read it on his famous birthday, but he's obviously not very smart. I literally went down to comments and I started smiling because everybody was saying you're too irrelevant to get a content cop down on you good job kids Kavos also very knowingly separates himself from the rest of the commentary community why does he do this i, I don't have a fucking clue um it's a very smart thing to do because everybody in the community hates him but he's pretty much the biggest one in the community so yeah Kavos says he's different to people like i'm alex and wild spartans ends up doing the exact same shit. I decided to add a little part about Pierce and Alex. And this is probably the part you've been waiting for. <laughs> Lately, there's been a little beef between um, Kavos and I'm Alex. Two very similar, but very hateful towards each other youtube channels basically a couple of months ago kavos made a video on him this was way back when nobody knew who the fuck kavos was now that kavos growing alex was sitting at home on his bisexual little ass thinking i can make a video on kavos makes a fucking 20 minute video which is boring as shit reiterating some random points which kavos in his reply i'll talk about that in a second proves are all lies so let's talk about the reply a couple days later Kavos makes a 30 minute, yes, content cop sized, 30 minute video responding to I'm Alex. Basically proving that every single point I'm Alex said was wrong. Sure, I'm Alex probably exaggerated some stuff and threw some stuff in there and made some stuff up or left some stuff out just to make him look bad, but Kavos, you do the exact same thing. Kavos was like, he's, he's not showing the full content. He's actually, I, I, I'm so pissed off, someone with that much subscribers is lying about me and I'm pissed off. And now I have a more bigger YouTuber trying to come at me, or should I say he has responded to me after seven months. This video will make you hate Kavos. Oh, wow. You know, I haven't seen that been done yet. So that's, that's a good, that's really clever. You know, give me a taste of my own medicine. That is... That's how it should be done. So what does Pierce need to change to make a channel better? There's a ton of things I could say that Pierce could make better in the future for his videos. But, um, I would say with first, change your attitude. Now he said in his um, response to I'm Alex's video that he gets too angry too fast and then he has to change that. And I applaud him. 
I applaud him for saying that and admitting to that. It's a very big step you are taking there. Now I admit I have a temper and I'm a bit of a hothead and I have no problem saying that. You know, that's something that is wrong with me. We're all human. That is my flaw and I'm trying to fix it and work on it. And it just happens sometimes. I lost my cool and I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to work on that. Secondly, you need to stop insulting people so heavily. If you critique channel like me, my ass hurts. Then you cannot always go ahead and insult people for what they do. You're gonna have to, at one point or another, actually say, yeah, your video is fucking shit, but I'm not gonna mention it. You know why? Because I'm a critique, not a hater. Third of all, you need to learn to take criticism. If you saw this video, you'd probably make a video saying, this video will make you hate fresh jazz. And if you made that, I'd be happy because it would give me at least a little, 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 little bit of relevancy. You always make the same fucking mistakes. If you're gonna be a commentary channel, if you're gonna be on YouTube, you're gonna have to take criticism. I'm only at 100 subscribers, but even I have gotten a ton of hate for my videos. This was fun to do. And if you do these things, um, maybe, just maybe I will subscribe to you again. I want to thank you for watching this video. This was my first episode of, what did I call it again? The Cunt Clapper. No, no, the crap crusader, the double cr 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 is very hard to pronounce, the crap crusader, I'm already working on another one and I hope you did enjoy, if you didn't enjoy please don't send me more hate, cause I already know I'm gonna get a ton of hate, people are gonna say, you're not funny, you're gotten shit, you're boring, kill yourself. YouTube comments are very predictable. This was my video. I don't care. I'm gonna make whatever the fuck I want. Please leave a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. For every thumbs up I get, I'm gonna be thinking of you when I jerk off the next time.